Hi, this is Jonathan from Cinch. In this video, we'll look at different scenarios for handling calls and callbacks in Communication Panel. The first scenario is around transferring a call. We've got two agents here. They're both ready to take calls and signed into the phone queue. If we look at this phone queue here, we see there's one contact waiting, how long it's been waiting, and how many agents are free and signed into this queue. Now we see a call being offered to one of the agents. The customer is in the contact pro directory, so we see the name of the customer here automatically. We also see which queue this comes from and how long the call was queuing before it was offered to this agent. We can accept this call or decline it and it will be pushed back to another agent. Let's decline this one. It's now being offered to the other agent on the left. We'll accept it and now we have an active call. We have the recording button enabled so the agent can decide when to start and pause the recording. Administrators can also define recording settings themselves for the whole system. We can put the call on hold and play some lovely music to the end customer. And we have a mute button if we want to discuss with colleagues. We have a script set up for this queue. Now scripts can be freely defined per queue, for example to guide the agent through a call or for classification purposes. Here, let's say that the call was sales related, the customer was interested, and we can also say how happy the customer was. We also have a section for internal notes to add some useful information. Let's put that this customer called to place another order. If this agent can't solve the customer's query, we can transfer it to another agent easily. In this search box, we can either search for a queue and it will be answered by one of the agents there, we can put in the first part of the queue name here. We see that there are three agents signed into the queue and there's two available. We can also search for a specific agent if we know who we want to forward the call to. We search for our colleague by name. The green tick mark shows they are available. Now we can click transfer to directly transfer the customer call to our colleague. The call for the first agent is now hung up and that agent is in wrap up mode and the call is being offered to this agent on the right hand side. We'll now accept it. Also we can see the notes which the other agent has added here. Finally, let's hang up this call. For the second scenario, we will do a consultation and then also change to a conference call. As before, we've got an inbound call and we'll accept this. We can then search for an agent. We see they're available. This time we'll click on consult this puts the customer on hold automatically, and a consultation call is made to our colleague, which of course they accept. We've now got the ongoing call with our colleague, and the customer's enjoying the on hold music. If we need to check back with the customer, we can click resume. This continues the call with the customer and puts our colleague on hold. We also have options for join and conference. Now join would connect my colleague directly with the customer, and remove me from the conversation. In this case, we'll start a conference between the customer, ourselves, and the colleague. So now we have a three-way conference ongoing. As I started the conference, I've got control, so I can see all of the attendees here. I can choose to leave the conference myself or remove one of the attendees. Okay, let's hang up this call. So that was a consultation and then also a conference call. Okay, for the third scenario, we'll look at making outbound calls and handling callbacks. Now, if you have the customer's details in your CRM system or in the communication panel directory, you can click to call from there. If not, no worries, we can just type in the number manually using the dial pad. We just enter the number here and click call. Now we've got an ongoing call with the customer, but maybe it's not convenient for them to talk now so we can create a callback request for them. We click on the plus sign and then we can create a callback request. First, let's enter the number which the customer wants to be called on. We can then add in a date and a time which suits the customer. Here we can also select which queue the callback request will be made from. As it could be any agent who will get this callback, it's also good to add in some notes for that agent as to why you're creating this callback. So now the callback request is created in the system. We can also change the request once it's been created. 
we go to Conversation History and do a detailed search. We select Callbacks and we can see the pending callback. When we click on it, we see more details. We could mark it as handled, so we wouldn't make the callback at all. However, we can also reschedule. So let's put it one hour later at 1 p.m. So now the callback saved also with this new time. Maybe we can also send a quick SMS to the customer to confirm we've created this callback request. Let's add in the customer's number and click OK. So let's put, hi James, I created a callback request for you tomorrow. We'll call you around 1 p.m. to discuss your purchase further. This is also two-way SMS, so the customer's replies can also be seen here too. And the final part for this video will actually handle the callback which we created earlier. So it's being offered the same queue we selected from the callback. It's also very clearly marked that it's a callback request we're going to be handling. Once we accept, the call is made out to the customer immediately. We can see a lot of information included here, such as the number of call attempts made, when it was created, and also which agent created this callback. We can also see the notes we entered earlier about why this callback request was created. Once the call's ongoing, we can also select the call result. So if we manage to reach the customer successfully, great, we can mark this as a success, or for example, we can reschedule for another time. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.